sponsored by DIY 4x Do It Yourself Off Road. Guys, if you can see here, got the old custom dash that I had made a while back out of the way. So when you get your gauge cluster out of the way and the top piece off, this is what it's going to look like. Your wiring is not going to look like mine, guys, but this is what mine looks like right now. You can see I have what is what written on what. And the crusher's wiring is a mess. Check that out, that's horrible man. We're gonna be redoing that whole thing, starting all over, um, rewiring everything, doing it correctly, making sure everything's tied up nicely man, not no loose ends, nothing that could cause a fire guys. So we're gonna be fixing this, and before you even ever start messing with wires, make sure you unplug your battery guys, you don't want any sparks, you don't want to cause any fires, alright? Get right back to y'all. The next part coming out is this piece right here. There's just a few bolts. We'll get right to it. bolt on the bottom right here and there's this little bitty bar holding on to it and it got the dash super loose check this out I can almost rip it all the way out so I'm thinking that it has to be cut all the way across with the grinder I thought it might be unboltable but I think you do got to cut it guys Gonna look into this and I'll get right back to y'all. So far, all I've taken out is one, two bolts on the right side, one bolt right here in the center on the bottom, two front bolts, little bitty ones on the column, and then the three bolts on the side over there that are holding on to the driver's side of the fender. And this is what I got left. This is what how loose I got it now. So I mean, I can even push it down all the way over here. Look at that. So the dash is pretty much unbolted. I am 100% sure that you're going to, I have to cut a line all the way across. So I'll get back to y'all. Keep on watching. All right, guys. I got a pair of sheet metal cutters. So this is what I'm going to do instead of using grinder, I'm going to cut the sheet metal.
guys. It's out. Check it out. Here we go. competition dash um, I was messing around testing it and I installed this side to see how it would fit and I found out that it's easier to bolt this together than put it in there it's too hard to get to these bolts that are in the back um, you would have to have a second hand and be crawling underneath there trying to bolt this together so I figured I'm gonna bolt it together um, I haven't painted the dash yet because I will be getting it um, uh, some custom work done to it called um, Hydrographics. And uh, just check it out. Just, you, just YouTube it, guys. Just check out uh, Hydrographics and you can see what kind of stuff I'm going to do to it. guys as you can see we got one two three four five bolts um, the bolts do have a, a locking setup let me give you a quick look so you don't really need to put any kind of locking material on there you just have a, a grip on there so it, it locks on there for y'all All right, guys, we got it bolted up, and we're going to lay it in there. Got my wife to help me. She doesn't want to be on camera. We got our hands over there, but we'll find out how this goes. Come on. She acts like it's heavy. It's like, uh, it's like... Uh, when you're setting it in there, guys, when you cut the top of the dash, you leave about an inch or so of the trimming so the dash lays on top. If you're going to have AC ducting and everything inside there, you want to leave all those little AC holes on top. You don't want to cut those out. You want to try to keep them. So cut around that with your sheet metal or any way you can figure out. So there it is laid in. All right, guys, we just got the dash in. So we bolted it together and then put it in there. I had my wife help me put it up and we used the two bolts on the driver's side and the two bolts on the passenger side. Um, it worked out pretty good. It went in pretty easy. You do need a second hand to help you uh, push it and, and get it in the right spot to put those two bolts in on both sides. For the people that have uh, heaters and stuff, you're gonna have a little bit harder time getting under, underneath to get to the bolts on the passenger side, but it's definitely doable. Um, you're gonna wanna have a good set of ratchet wrenches. Let me show what a ratchet wrench looks like. Here's a ratchet wrench. It moves, you hear that? It has a clicking little device inside, so you can sit there and put it on there and you can just sit there and ratchet. Um, that or a smaller uh, drive right here. You see that, it's a little bitty stubby one and that's what I end up using just cause it's a real tight area. And like I just said, the guys that have heater cores and everything still in there, mine's ripped out. You're going to have a little bit tighter squeeze, so a little bit smaller arm or a little bit uh, someone that's smaller to get in there for you to help you install that would be a great, great benefit. Um, so we got the dash installed, guys. It is a very easy install. Um, the only requirement is cutting on top. And like I said, if you're going to keep your AC and heater, 
you gotta make sure you keep those vents on top the little squares that those plastic piece attached to and you try to keep that in there guys and cut around it I cut across them across all of that because I have none of that stuff in there any, in my truck anymore um, but for you here guys try to leave it in there cut around it and the dash just lays right on top and you'll have the holes perfectly in there and you have all the brackets and everything that perfectly fit on top of there guys 